Hi developers, welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil. In this part of Node.js, we will learn how we can create file lists in a Node.js application. For that, first of all, we will create files inside a folder. And for that, we will use for loop so that at the same time, we can create multiple files. And we also use a path module, which is very important for interviews. And we will get these file names, which we just created with the for loop and uh, we will print them on a console. Some guys might have a question why we are not directly using web pages and web APIs. Why we are just uh, uh, simply creating all these things on a console and command line. The reason is for a moment we are just understanding the fundamental things about Node.js. If I am directly jumping on the complex task like API, database connection and file system together. That things may be hard for some guys or maybe some guys are just disappointed that uh, we cannot understand understand the node, nodes and all things. That's why we are focusing on the fundamentals and after that we will create APIs. And that time we will also use this, this thing simultaneously with the database, with the file system, APIs and all, right? So stay tuned and be relaxed and understand everything step by step. All right. So now let's understand how we can create a file. In last video, I already told you how we can create files, but still, I am just going to delete all this code and we will do it everything from scratch. So let's say you want to create a file. This is a really simple process and you can create just a two lines of code with it. So let's say we have, okay. So we just want what actually happening? Why <laughs> it's jumping on a command line? So let's take a const with the name of fs and we can import file system module. That means fs. And if I just putting here fs dot uh, write file sync file name like uh, apple dot txt and here we can put here uh, a simple file with that way on a, with the only two lines we can create a file here you can see that we got a file here you can see that fine but uh, what we actually want we want that this file sorry actually I was on the uh, git tab so I am jumping on our first file tabs right so we want to create all these files inside a folder and we want multiple files also at the same time so for that we need a for loop so that we can create multiple files right so first of all let's create a folder name which is files and here we want to create our files so now let's take a for loop it started from 0 uh, i value is 0 now i will just uh, go uh, less than 5 and it will just continuously increase till it will not just uh, uh, less than 5 right and after that here we can just simply put here fs dot uh, write file system uh, write file sync sorry not system and here we can provide our file name let's say hello dot txt and after that we can put here some text uh, some simple text in file that's okay whenever i will run this command there is a still there is a two things which is pending first thing it will create only one file because i know that this loop will just run find five time but file name name is only once so every time it will override the file and create the same file name second thing it will create file on the root folder not in the files so how we can just create the files of uh, these files inside the files folder for that we need a path module so let's just take a const let's say path and uh, we can just require it from path right for a moment i am just commenting it out so that we can print that path and all right so let's uh, again take a constant dir path that means our current directory path for that how we can get it we can simply get it by path dot join and this is basically a function and if i'm just putting here 
underscore underscore dir that means it will print the current path of our folder here you can see that uh, okay i have to make a console here console dot log and dir path and here you can see that we are getting the current 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 path which which is perfectly fine so here if i am just applying this path still it will just print the uh, these or create these all these files on a root so what we need we need this files folder again uh, after just node tute so as a second parameter inside the join um, function let's path uh, pass here files and now you will find that it will create a path till the files folder and now we can just simply pass it like this like this now one thing is resolved it will create the files inside the dir file but still one thing is missed it will, it will create only a one file we have to just create here multiple file so that what we can do here we can just simply use here i right okay we are using here single quotes plus plus sign and i here now what actually it will make it will uh, it will just create the file with the help of i like uh, first of all i th value will be 0 so it will create a hello 0 dot txt file hello 1 dot txt file hello 2 dot txt file and so on but this is the old way to actually uh, integrate this uh, you can say that the create a file and all so what we can do here we can just update it with the latest code like uh, we can simply use here backticks like here and here after that let's simply use here dollar and these brackets and now we don't need this uh, plus sign and again we don't need this uh, single quotes also so we can remove them and again we have a file here uh, i here so again just put here dollar i and like this now what it, it will actually make it will make a uh, perfect path for every file with the dynamic file name and this is the you can see that the template string this is a normal string which is we use some four or five year uh, ago but now we are using uh, strings like this if we have dynamic string so now let's uh, just run this command and now let's see what actually happens let's after this running this command whenever we are opening here you can see that that hello 1 2 and 3 and 4 files are created and everyone have the same text because we did not make this text dynamic but that's okay for a moment so with that way we just created these files and uh, one more thing guys so whenever if i'm just running this command again it will not going to create commands again uh, files again because here it will print the same file name and it will override the old files and create the files with the same name so we will just have only five files again if we just run this command that's okay so we don't need this run command uh, this for loop again so i am just commenting out it why i am not removing because i will push this code on git so that you can take a reference from here fine all right so after that our next step is we have to get this file name and we have to print them all right so now let's simply take here fs dot read dir so why we are uh, reading the directory because we have to print the old file name which is uh, inside the file which is inside a specific directory right so if uh, we have to just read these files that time we are basically we can use a read file function but now we are just want to read these file names only right so after that first of all we have to provide the path which is uh, uh, dir path so it will just read the files from uh, files folder after that it there is a callback function and we can use here a arrow function that's okay and it have the two parameters first one is error and second one is files you can put any name like items files or data whatever you want but uh, uh, files is uh, much better because we are just getting the files all right so now after that 
let's create a curly braces and uh, simply put here console dot log and let's print here files and now what you will find here whenever you will run it it will just print all these files but in a array so let's say you don't want a single array you want all files separately so that what you can do here just simply put here files dot for each and it will again take a callback function as i told you in previous video there is a lots of callback function in node.js all right so here we can just put here item and uh, let's print it console dot one item and now you will get that every file in a single line even if you want to add some text with this then you can add here file name is like this and here we are getting the files with the, this text also so all right we get to know that how we can uh, use a path module how we can create files how we can get and print names and at the last it's time of interview question in interviews this is a commonly asked interview question that uh, can we can we access the files from outside the uh, for, uh, node folder so let's say you want to access the files from uh, angularitude folder from db from uh, my learnings and from other directories like d drive and e drive is it possible answer is no you cannot get files from another folder you can get only files from your node folders where you are running the command so where I am actually running the command inside the <coughs> node2 folder. So I cannot get any file from outside this folder. Yes, if it, it have uh, some nested folder inside it, definitely we can get them. There is a no issue. But the, uh, the another question is, what is the reason why we cannot get the files here? Because whenever we are running a node command here, it will work like a web server. And of that time our this current directory is behaving like a server and server cannot get the file from outside uh, to servers so if this is possible what actually can be happen maybe you are accessing any website and this website is actually getting files from your system this is a biggest security threat you can say that right that's why it, this is not possible that uh, anyone can just use this node.js from outside this uh, uh, files can get I know, outside from that folder, right? So thank you so much for watching this video and please don't forget to subscribe my channel